Welcome back everyone to Western Mass News. A follow up now to a story we've been staying on top of. Many public school districts in our area are making the call to switch to the state's new COVID-19 testing option. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver joins us now live with the very latest. Lexi. Chris and Jordan, districts have been meeting this week to weigh their options and it seems they've all unanimously decided to adopt the state's new program. We like this route and we want to try it and see what happens. Belchertown School Committee giving their blessing to the superintendent Tuesday night to enroll in the state's new COVID-19 at-home testing option. And this is a way that's going to take the burden off of some of or off of all of our nursing staff from, you know, the high workload of the um, contact tracing. And this was going to help more kids stay in school. Under the state's new option, Massachusetts families would receive one rapid test per week for a student to test outside of school as long as regular symptomatic or pool testing continues at the school. This would effectively end the test and stay program in participating districts. The test and stay, it wasn't catching a lot of the COVID. If somebody had a contact outside of school, either at home or um, like from dance or from a daycare or something, then they weren't eligible to participate in that. So they were having to stay out of school. Western Mass News checked in with local districts and here's what we know so far. East Hampton is opting into the new rapid testing option as well and getting rid of the test and stay program. In Agawam, the superintendent and town health department also made the decision to adopt the new option. A notice was sent out to teachers this week and parents and students will be notified next week. Parents and students will need to opt in to receive the test kits and the district will continue to test those students in school if they become symptomatic. Westfield's public school district opting in for the at-home testing as well. School officials tell us they're in the beginning stages of getting it underway and are starting to notify parents. Once it begins, the district will discontinue the test and stay program, but will continue with symptomatic testing. And in South Hadley, the district's application to switch to the new program was approved by DESE. The school system will begin receiving the at-home test kits the week of January 31st. Symptomatic testing will also begin at this time replacing test and stay. Contact tracing will be discontinued. But Gudikins says the decision is not set in stone. If we do this and it doesn't work, if we find it's not successful, we're, you know, having more children sick and stuff, we can go back. She adds that according to data from DESE, there hasn't been a lot of spread among students in the district. Schools have until April 1st to decide to adopt the new testing option. Live in studio, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News.